Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be guiding you through HIIT workout, high intensity interval training. And we're going to be doing some heavier weights, but if you want to go a little lighter and uh, go with the flow, even hands-free to move along, you can definitely do that. Okay, so I have my 15-pound, uh, uh, 12 and a half pounds, and 10-pound hand weights all lined up here. Our plan is to start with some warm-up, and then after the warm-up, we're going to go to strength session with these heavier weights. And strength session, we're going to do three sets. The first step of set will be six repetitions. We're going to do the exercises six times. And then we're going to do uh, eight uh, repetition set. And then we're going to go back down to six. So three sets, six repetition, eight, and then six. Okay, so it's like a little letter. We're going to go from six to climb up the letter eight. And then we'll go back down to six with the strength session. But we'll do our uh, six repetition first. And after the strength session, we're going to add a little cardio. And then go back to strength for eight repetition and we'll add a little bit of core work and then we'll go back to uh, our six repetition strength work okay so let's do this together let's start warming up so let's stand at the end of your mat legs about hip width distance apart keep your spine tall pull your lower abs up and in relax your shoulders down start rolling your shoulders up back and down soften your knees breathe in and out in through the nose, out through the mouth. Relax your shoulders, inhale, bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, forward fold, hands through heart center, fold down, draw your head down heavy, point your hands down onto the mat. Stay right here. Bend your knees generously so you can really relax your torso on your thighs. Nod your head, shake your head. Bend one knee and straighten the other out. Paddle it out. Keep breathing. Pull your belly button up and in towards the spine. Engage your core. Stop any movement that you're making. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, walk your hands up to plant four steps. One, two, three. Four, find your shoulders above your arms, straight line from the top of your head down to your tailbone. Wrap your spine with autonomous contraction, knit your, knit your ribcage tight, hold it right there. You can always come down to your knees if you need a little modification or keep this nice high plank. Shift forward and back. Solving from your ankles, shift and back. Just a few more times. Hold it and pipe your hips up high, downward facing dog. Relax your shoulders down. Keep your head between your arms. Paddle it up, running man. Bend one knee, opposite heel. Push down, push down into the mat. Switch. Keep breathing. Stop the running man. Find this downward facing dog again. Bend your knees a little bit so you can. Push your heels down a little deeper. Breathe in and out. Now lift your heels. Bring your right leg up. Take a deep breath in. Bend your right knee. Twist your pelvis to the right. A little scorpion stretch. Roll out your ankle. Roll it to the other direction. Shake your foot. And slowly bring your right leg down. Inhale, left leg up. Bend your left knee. Twist your pelvis to the left. Roll out your ankle about three times. Reverse. Shake it off. And slowly return it off. Left leg down. Shift your weight back to high plank position. Bend your knees. And slowly sit down. Breathe in and out. Take a deep breath in and come to all fours tabletop. Step your shoulders above your arms and hips above your knees. Hold it, tuck your toes under, breathe in. Exhale, knees lift, lift your knees. Inhale, lower back down, keep going. Keep your back flat, up and down. Inhale up, 
actually <laughs> exhale up and go down as long as you breathe. Up and down, just about three times. Up, down, two more. Next time your knees are up, hold it there, extend your legs out, and then come on back in. And step, and step, step, step. Alternate your step and leg. So out with your right leg first, in with your right, up with your left, in with your left. Just switch it up, keep going. This is it, just for four, three, two, Meet me in plank, one last one. Hold your plank strong, little mini push-ups. Bend your elbows a few inches, extend. Bend, extend. Just for about three more. Two. One last one, downward facing dog. Again, paddle out your leg. And shift your weight forward, bend your knees, slowly sit down into this little shell stretch, child pose shell stretch. Breathe in. Now sit up straight, let's go into our strength session. So I'm going to be uh, holding on heavier weights, so 15 pound weights. And let's start with some front squats. Separate your legs a little wider than the hip width. Every strength work, I'm going to demo you, and then we will go into the reps, okay? So right now, I'm demoing. So you can either keep your arms on the side and squat like this, or you can bring your uh, weights above your shoulders and sit down and lift, okay? So when we are squatting, make sure your shins and your uh, the back, your spine, are parallel, lift back up. Stick your wings out, lift back up, okay? So let's go together right now. So let's do six repetitions, front squats. Inhale, down, exhale, up, down, and then up. Keep going. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Come on up. I'm gonna demo you. Bring your legs a little bit closer towards each other. If you need to switch your weights, you can. I'm gonna go a little bit more back so you can see me. We're gonna be doing our shoulder presses like this and come down, okay? So shoulder press and down. We're gonna keep your shoulders away from the ears as you press up and down. Your core is strong, abs are deep. Let's do this together six times. Press. Let's go. Right foot forward first. Let's go three times. Down. Up. Step like deadlifts. One more. Switch it up. Left foot forward. Left heel down. Left toes up. Down. Up. Two more. Keep your spine straight. One more. Slowly come on in. We're going to go into bent over row. So let me demo first. Separate your legs out hip width. Straighten out your spine. Lean forward. Bend your knees slightly. And we're just going to do bend, extend. Bend, extend. Utilize the back muscles. Keep your chin down towards your chest. Keep your neck straight. So straight line from head to tailbone. Let's go. Six times. Row. Five more. 
or three, anything else stay, stay for abs are deep, two, and one last one, still deep, come on down, I'm going to switch up my weight to 12 and a half pounds to do my reverse chest flies, okay, so I'll show you, with reverse chest flies, you're staying in this bend over position, knees are bent, straighten up your spine, knees a little bit behind your toes, and then you're just going to chest fly out, okay? I'm demoing, we'll go together very soon, take a little rest as you're watching my demo, like this, okay? So when you're ready, let's do this together, six times, bend over, inhale, exhale, reverse chest fly, just for five more, four, three, look straight down, chin down towards the chest, and one last, one, and slowly come on up, and switch up my uh, weights, we're going to be holding on 15 pounds weight, what we're going to do is I'm going to demo, let's do bicep and press, and down. Uh, Bicep curl, press, and down, okay? I have my 15 pound, but actually I'm going to go grab a little heavier weight. Rest and get ready. I will be doing uh, 30 pounds, okay? So it's 15 pounds, two times two, right? Let's go six times. Bend your elbows, bicep curl, press it. And down. Five more. Four. Shoulders above your hips. Three, two, and last one. And come on down. I'm gonna keep using using this this heavier weight, and we're gonna go into triceps. Okay, separate your legs, hip width, or a little wider for more stability. I'm gonna demo. So with triceps, I'm just bending the elbows. So you're keeping your elbows next to your head and bend and extend your uh, arms, okay? But point your elbows forward. So that's what we're gonna be doing, okay? Let's get ready, take a little breather. <sighs> Let's go. Just for six, five, four, three, two, and one last one. Slowly. Down. Now we're going to go to uh, Halo. Okay, let's do Halo. So let's set it up. I will demo you. Stay in this position, legs hip width, and then drawing Halo like this. And then we're going to reverse. Okay, so three times and then reverse. Okay, so let's do this. Set it up. Elbows forward and go. One, two, Three, reverse, three, two, and then one, come on down. Put your heavy weight away. Let's go to seated shoulder presses, okay? So sit down. I'm going to go back to my 15 pounds. Weight right there. Down a little bit, take a little breather, water break, towel break. Set it up. Straight leg, if this is not comfortable, you can always bend your knees. I'm going to demo you. Hold, and just press up and down. But as you can see, my spine is straight. I'm not leaning back. I'm not rounding forward. Keep the spine tall so you're asking for the heart. Keep your legs straight if you can, and flex your toes up. Let's go. Just for six, five, four, Three, two, and last one. Slowly come on down. From here, we're going to do our press, but laying down with bridge work. I'm going to reduce my 12 and a half pounds of this. Lift up. Yes. Set it up. I'm going to demo you. So open up your arms wide, but I'm keeping my shoulders above the elbows, so your elbows are not up there. They're a little bit below the shoulders. And 
knuckles up towards the ceiling, legs about hip width. You can keep your heels down like this, or if you want to challenge yourself, you can even lift your heels off the mat. So whatever works best, lift your hips high, either heels up or heels down. Hold it and let's go. Up, six, five, four, three more, two, one last one. Slowly come on down. Let's do a little bit of glutes. I'm adding two heavy weights right here. Hold on to the weights. Squeeze your glutes, breathe in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Just four more. Three. Two. And one last one. Slowly bring your hips down. And then put the weights away. We're going to go into our cardio session of our hip work. Take the weights away a little bit. Take a water break, towel break. Let's set it up. Awesome. So with my cardio session, we're going to do five exercises for 30 seconds each with a little bit of 10 seconds uh, rest in between. Okay, so I'm going to demo and then we'll start 30 seconds, okay? So with the first one, we're just going to do jump rope like this, okay? Jump rope. Jump, 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 jump. So jump roping. Let's start now. 30 seconds. Keep breathing. Jump a little higher. Keep breathing. This is it. Just about 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Let's rest for about 10 seconds. And we're gonna go next move is knee lifts and twists. Knee lift and twists, okay? So let's start in four, three, two, let's go. Knee lift and twist. Opposite hip bone to opposite rib cage. Twist, twist. Get these obliques going. Sit almost halfway ready. 15 more seconds. This is it, just for five. Four, three, two, and one. Rest for about 10 seconds. We're going to be doing skaters. So side to side. You can go slowly, touch your floor, or you can add a little bit of that bouncing and uh, jumping effect to it. Let's go 30 seconds. Side to side. We'll call them side lunges too. Keep going. About halfway, 15 more seconds. Looking down towards the floor for stability. And you keep your neck protected. This is it just for two and one. Rest. We have about 10 second rest and we will do our jumping jacks. You can step and step or you can go full on jumping jack mode. Whatever works, breathe in and out. Let's go. 30 seconds. Keep going. Yes. Up with me. 15 more seconds. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. And let's do the last one. Let's take a little rest. 
We're gonna do our reverse punch. Like this, okay? Press. I'm feeling it too. Let's go. 30 seconds. Reverse punch. Nice big steps to the back. Keep your two legs, the two legs, your legs. Keep your shoulders above your hips. Core is turned off. Just about four, three, two. Finish both sides. Come on. In. Sit down. Rest in child's pose for a few breaths. down or bring it up, bring them up. Let's go when you are ready. So front squats eight times. Down, up, down, up. This is halfway. Give me four more. Three, two, last one. Come on up. We're gonna do our shoulder presses like this. So rest for a little bit. We have eight reps, okay? I'm feeling it too. Heart rate is going up. Let's go. Up. Just for about six more. Five. Switch it up. Four. Just two more. Last one. And rest. Going into bend over rows. Straight spine. Legs about hip width, a little wider for more stability. Belly button up and in towards the spine. Rip each mid tight shoulders down away from the ears. Bend your knees slightly. Let's go. Bend. Extend. Six more. Switch it up to my 12 and a half pounds. Same position, bend over, and we're gonna be doing our reverse chest flies, okay? So set it up, breathe in, breathe out. Bend over, straight spine, bend your knees slightly. Bring your uh, weights forward, breathe in, and exhale, open. And close. Just for about six more. Shoulder press, okay? 
So let's set it up. Keep your spine tall. Shoulders above your hips. Abs are in. Let's go. Bicep curl and press. Down. That's one. Two down. Six more. Five more. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Two. And last one. And rest. We're going to be doing triceps like this. Okay, coming up. Rest for a few more breaths. Legs about hip width. Shoulders down. Elbows forward. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep your elbows narrow. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly come up down. We're going into a halo. Okay? So halo like this four times one direction reverse okay so breathe in and out let's get ready let's go hey two more slow it down one more let's reverse four three two and one slowly drop your weights we need to do seated presses shoulder presses and go back to my 15 pounds set it up straight legs or bended knees are totally an option keep your spine tall let's go eight Seven, six, five more, four, three, two, and last one. Drop the weights, switching it up to my 12 and a half. Lay down all the way. Bend your knees, hook position, legs are about hip width, either heels down or heels up. Bring your elbows to the side, elbows below the shoulders, and knuckles up towards the ceiling. Keep your wrists straight so you're not really, you know, uh, flexing in your wrist, extending in your wrist. Wrist is nice and tall. Let's go. Lift your hips high, maybe heels up, press. That's two down. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Down. Bring your weights above your pelvis. You definitely do them without the weights. Let's go glutes. Breathe in. And out, lift, squeeze your glutes up and down, up and down, just for six more, five, four, keep your shoulder blades wide, neck is tension, three, three, two, last one, come on, down, put the weights away, we're going to go into our core session of our hit. We'll do five exercises, core work, okay? Move these out of the way a little bit so you can see me. With core, sit in the middle of the mat. Bring your legs together, heels down, toes up. Straighten your spine. You can stay here and slowly lean back, okay? Hands can be holding onto your uh, knees, the other side of your knees, shoulders down, chest open, both toes. Stay right there. 
or you can bring your arms up, heels up. You can hold it here too. We're going to be doing 30 seconds right there. Maybe here, and maybe here, and maybe here. Whatever works, hold. A little rounding or arching in your spine, keep your spine tall, straight line from head to tailbone. Hold. Tuck your tummy in, rib cage down, shoulders down, chin down towards the chest a little bit to keep the back of your neck long. Maybe arms can come up a little higher. Maybe knees can straighten out a little bit more. Yes. This is it for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly roll all the way to your back. Bring your legs to reverse tabletop position. Hold it. Arms on the side. We're going to do Pilates 100s for 30 seconds. Maybe you're here and pump your arms up and down. This is first option. Or maybe you're up here. Or maybe you're here. Or maybe you're going to add up and down with the legs. Whatever works best, let's start now. 30 seconds only. Up and down. Keep breathing. Keep on breathing. We have bicycle twist coming up. Yes. Almost there. 10 seconds. Hold your arms up and down. Keep your core strong. Just for two. And one. Bend your knees. We're going to be doing our bicycle twist. This is an option. Or maybe you can keep your feet down and just twist. Or if you want to go a little bit more, scissor kicks. Okay, hang in there. Let's start now. Keep going. Opposite rib reach down to the opposite hip bone. Lift and twist. Lift and twist. Lengthen from the back of your legs if your legs are straight. Or you can take other options too. Just for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Come back to center. Hug your knees. Slowly come on up. And now we're going to do reverse plank like this. Yes, you can just hold it here. Or maybe you can even bend your knees. Stay here. This is an option. Fingertips towards your feet. For some of us, might to like, might to bring your fingers to the side like this too. Find what works best. Squeeze your glutes lift. Our legs can be long. Okay, let's do this for 30 seconds. Let's go. You can even add a little bit by lift one leg at a time. Keep your core strong. Keep breathing. Shoulders down. Shoulders are strong. Chest is wide open. Chin down a little bit towards the chest. Keep your neck protected. Keep going. Just for about six seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Come on, down. Turn towards the mat. Let's go down to the throw. Go to your belly, tummy, and on your mat. Let's go hip with distance apart. We're going to do our jumping jacks on the mat. So it looks like this. Reach your arms out, legs out, shoulders down, neck is long. You're not lifting from the neck. You're lifting from the back muscles and you're just going open, close, open, close, jumping jacks, prone position. Let's go. 30 seconds, lift, open, close. Get your heart rate going. You can go slow or a little faster. Bring your belly button up and in. Squeeze your glutes. Lengthen your fingertips and toes away from each other. Keep looking down. Neck is long. This is it. Just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down. Bend your elbows. Push down into your hands. Sit down into shell stretch. Breathe in. We have one last strength session, six repetitions. We're going back down to six repetitions that hold strength. Uh, the 
full interval of what we're going to be doing that. So let's get ready. We're starting with front squats, okay? So let me find my hand weights again. <laughs> starting my 15 pounds here, 15 pounds here. You can always go a little heavier if you like, okay? Or lighter, or even no weights at all, okay? Let's do this. Grab onto the weight, squats. Legs about hip width or a little wider than the hip width. Hands can be down, arms can be down or up. Let's go. Squat down and up. Down, up. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Up. Rest. We're going to be going into our shoulder presses, okay? Let's rest for a few breaths. Let's set it up. Straight spine, your abs are in. Full post your arms. Let's go six times. Up, down. Four more. Three. Two. One. Come on, down. Stiff leg deadlifts. Next. This, keep both legs straight, spine straight. Let's go deep breaths. Come on down. Let's go. Get a little stretch at the back of your legs with this too. Three times here. Let's switch it up. Left heel forward. Let's go. Three. Two. One, rest, bend over rolls, legs about hip width, bend your knees a little bit, lean forward with straight spine, and we can roll, okay? Let's get ready, chin down towards the chest, straight leg from head to toes, knees behind your toes, bend the knee, let's go six times. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, put them away. We can keep using the same weight. I like to switch it out a little bit. Bring down a little bit. Stay in this bent over position. And we're gonna go reverse chest flat. Bring out your weight on both legs. Bring your hand weights forward. Wrong ones. Right here. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. This weight's away. I'm going to be a little heavier. 30 pounds. Step curl presses looks like this. Okay, in and then out. Let's go only six times. Bend, press, down. Just four more. Three more. one and maybe legs we're gonna be doing our triceps like this with heavy weights hang in there breathe in and out let's go With your elbows straight forward pointing straight and narrow this is halfway just three more Two and one. We have halo coming up. Rest for a few breaths. Let's go. Halo. One, two, three. <laughs> Three 
keepers. One, two, and three. Relax. Let's do our seated shoulder presses. Either straight knees or bended knees. Spine is tall. Grab onto my right team. Straighten up your spine, shoulders down away from the ears. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on, down. We keep using this heavy, heavier weight. Lay down. Hook position with your legs, elbows a little bit lower than the shoulders. Set it up. You can keep your heels down or heels up, but lift your hips high. Lift, press. That's one. This is two. Just four more. Three. One last one. Come on down. Place your weight. Both by one. You go with one right now. Ooh. And then let's do our bridge work. Heels up. For me this time, breathe in. Hands, elbows in. Exhale up, inhale down. Elbows can be up, up and down. Keep going. Up, down. This is three. Let's do three more. Two, last one, come on down, put the weight away, hug your knees in, rock side to side, breathe in, breathe out. We did it, we're going to do cool down stretches, and then we go the ball down. Hug the knees in a little bit deeper, keep your right knee in. Extend your left leg out. Cross your right knee over to the left. Supine twist. Get into that little twist. Relax your shoulders down. Reach your right arm out to the right. Look towards the right. Relax. Bring your knees in towards your chest again. Come back to center. Extend your right leg out. Cross your left knee over to the right. Extend your left arm. Look towards the left. Supine twist on to the right. Come in to center. Up both knees in. Little heavy baby rocks, open up your knees, grab onto your feet or maybe ankles or maybe even behind your knees or thighs, whatever works best, rock side to side. Massage your spine, bring it back and cool in. Your knees in a little rolling like a ball action. Chin down towards the chest, flex up. Roll along the spine. But protect your neck. Roll over to the shoulder blades and come back up. And then come on up to seated. Crisscross your ankles. Plant your hands forward. Step your legs back. Go to all fours tabletop position. Yes. Tuck your Toes under, extend your knees, downward facing dog. Walk your hands in towards your feet, about two steps or three steps, short dog. Stretch in your short dog. Yes, your heels may not come all the way down, that's okay. Bend your knees and you can maybe keep your heels high. You can press your heels down when you have a little bit more stretch at the back of your legs. Short dog, so it's shorter than the regular downward dog. Up your tailbone up, sink your chest down towards your feet, relax your neck. Breathe in, breathe out. Now 
walk your hands closer towards your feet. Separate your legs a little bit wider than the hip width, about hip width. Rag dog. Hug your elbows and stay here. You can swing side to side. Bend your knees, relax your torso down deeper. Switch out your uh, hands and keep walking side to side. Breathe in. Point your hands, come down to your knees. Tuck your toes under, straighten up your spine, reach your arms out to the front, a little quad stretch, take a deep breath in. Exhale, straight spine, lean back. And then you'll slowly come back. Exhale. And then go. One more time, this time stay here. Bring your right arm up and over, hold on to your back, uh, the back of your uh, right foot or heel. Stay here. Bring your left arm up, a little extension in your spine, push your pelvis and rib cage forward, open up your rib cage. Slowly straighten your spine, bring your left arm down, right arm up, come on up. Let's do the other side, lean back. Left arm up and over, hold on to the left heel with your left hand, shoulders, hips square forward, lift your right arm up, push your pelvis forward, open up your rib cage, look up and back a little bit. Straighten out your spine, close your rib cage, abs deep, right arm out, left arm reaches, and then come on up to straight spine. Sit down, crisscross your ankles, yes. and then eagle, bring one arm, wrap it under the other, squeeze, 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 lift your elbows up, move your hands away from your face to get a little deeper. Shoulder stretch. If this doesn't work, you can always go into this bear hug. You can still bring your elbows up a little bit. This is an option. Or doing this in your arm. Keep breathing. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice compression in your joints. From here, round, forward. Yes, chin down, elbow in. And then straighten out your spine. One more time. Round. Your articulation in your spine and straighten out. Relax. Let's do the other side. Whichever side you did, reverse, eagle or bear hug. Lift your elbows a little bit. Move your hands away from your eyes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep breathing. Awesome. And then round and straighten. One more time, around. Straighten back up. All right, shoulder stretch out, relax. And from here, turn towards the mat, plant your hands down, knees down, step the leg back, go to downward facing dog. Free leg dog on the right, lift your right leg high. Runner's lunge, bring your right foot outside of your right hand. You can even move your right foot a little bit to the top right corner in this runner's lunge. You can always bring the back knee down, flip to the top of your back foot, come down to elbows, or even you can uh, make fists and stack fists above one another and you can lower down and stay in your hands too. Whatever works best in every movement. Such a good stretch here. Wherever you are, come back to your hands, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Now left side, lift your left leg high, and step your left foot outside of your left hand, runner's lunge on the other side, and bring your back knee down, flip to the top of your right foot, come down to elbow if that works well for you, just relax. Come back to your hands. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Step your left foot back. Go back to downward facing dog. Paddle out your legs. Bring your knees down. 
Uncuff the toes, sit down on the two, shell straight. Slowly, come on up where you are. Ready, you did it. Awesome, awesome work.